okay, well, this is a new book for me. My children got this for me for the holidays. They know that I do read alouds every week on the channel and they thought that they would get some new books for my library and I'm so thankful they did. This is called Llama Destroys the World by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Heather Fox. I was intrigued when I first saw it and I think you're going to get a kick out of it. Please subscribe to our channel, hit that red button, hit that thumbs up and join us for this story. Llama Destroys the World by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Heather Fox. I am Llama. Do you like llamas? Have you ever seen a llama? Let's find out about this llama. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama should ever eat. That, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. Is it healthy to eat all the cake? What do you think is going to happen to Llama? Burp. <gasps> this was his first mistake. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing, so Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake, but he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Llama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jiggled, he tangoed, he cha cha real smooth. His rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. RIP! <gasps> what happened to his pants? The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. RIP! The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. That, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be for or what it could do. But Llama was Llama of science. He knew the answers were out there, waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data and come to a well thought out conclusion. That, said Llama wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. What do you think he's gonna do with that? I do too. I'm kind of scared for Llama. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles, but Llama didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday! On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama! The black hole swallowed everything up, every single thing left in the world, everything left in the universe. Oh, there goes Earth. Oh no. Until there was nothing. I am Llama. Saturday. 
On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Lama. I am Lama, proclaimed Lama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Lama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any Lama should ever eat. That, said Lama. Uh-oh. Lama ate all of the pie. Here we go again. Well, what did you think of this story? It kind of reminded me a little bit of the Very Hungry Caterpillar, if you've ever read that, how the caterpillar eats like, you know, a lot of food uh, in that respect. But uh, it just, it was actually very crazy, this book. I got a kick out of it. I hope you did too. Uh, if you'd like, if you enjoy read alouds, please come back every week. We have a new read aloud and we also do other activities. And I hope to see you soon. Kid Story some more. Bye-bye.